Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to export a Gerber file or a Gerber film from uh, Cadence PCB Tools. So this is available under the export menu. Um, we've got Gerber parameters and export Gerber. So if we go to the Gerber parameters, these are the general settings uh, for the what you want to export. So there's different sorts of device types supported. So, so Gerber 6X, 4X, uh, the standard one nowadays is uh, 274X if you're still using Gerber films. Make sure your output units is correct. Um, I check your format, obviously the integer and decimal places, number before the, the decimal and after the decimal. Um, there's also quite a useful function uh, for, for prefix and suffix, uh, where you can have this tied in with the artwork film name, so you can have a prefix of effectively what your job name is and a suffix of the issue. If you look at then the film control tabs, it would then use um, the artwork film names and you could be standard on using these. So it would be effectively job name dash, the artwork film name dash issue three, and that gets output with the Gerber data. Once you're happy with the parameters, um, we can look at the film control. This is effectively a list of the artwork films. And if we uh, expand these out, obviously each artwork film is a combination of the, the classes and subclasses or layers that are turned on and off. Um, you would choose these, obviously the settings on the right hand side uh, are driven by artwork film by artwork film. So one to, to really look out for is something like the artwork undefined line width. So if you have any Gerber files that uh, just have single lines in or, or rectangles without lines or text haven't got a line thickness, that predominantly is an exported in Gerber data. So you need to make sure that your undefined line width is set correctly on an artwork by artwork basis. Once you're happy with this, you can then choose which artwork films you want to go and generate. So you can either select all or just pick one or two. So I'll just pick a couple, for example, uh, and then we'll just go click on create artwork. And then the artwork are going to generate it. We can look at the view log, which will give us the artwork log files, which is worthwhile looking at. Once that's done, if we actually go to the job file directory, so let's just browse over here. I've effectively got um, the two job name dash the artwork film name dash the issue um, and these are the files that you will send off uh, to the PCB fabricator. 